Hi, 17th February 2020, I would say was a landmark day for the feminism wave in India. This is the day when the Supreme Court ordered the government to grant permanent commissions to women officers in the army. This was for all the non-combat units. This, uh, through this order, all the women, irrespective of their, of their service years, are eligible to apply for permanent commission. This order has also removed the restrictions which allowed women officers to only serve in the staff appointments. My friend Mehul here will take you through the entire chronological tour of the order, but before that, there are three terms we want you to understand before going ahead with the order. The first one here is Short Service Commission also known as SSC. So basically, SSC is a scheme that provides you a service tenure for 10 years, which can later be extended up to 14 years. The next uh, term which plays a key role in the order is permanent commission. What is a permanent commission? So permanent commission allows you to be in the service to serve, in, to serve uh, till the age of your retirement which means that a woman now will be allowed, will be able to serve up, um, up until the retirement age, which is almost 60 right now. What happens here is, what happens here is, an officer on completion of SSC can, if he wants, he or she wants, convert the SSC into permanent commission. The next important term here that we'll talk about is staff appointments. So, when you are serving under staff appointments, you do not hold any command roles. What happens here is, a person who is under uh, staff appointments cannot reach the rank of colonel and beyond. This is only applicable for those who work under command appointments. So I hope you are well equipped enough to go to the chronological tour now. My friend Mehul will take over from here. So let us try and understand how things have unfolded over the years. Now, this is year 1992 when for the first time the induction of women in the Indian Army has begun. Their commission was only for five years under a special entry scheme. Now directly to year 2003 when the first PIL was filed in the Delhi High Court seeking the grant of permanent commission for women officers. Later in the year 2006, the central government removed the special entry scheme and brought the women cadre under SSC. As explained by SSC, the women were only eligible for a service of 10, from 10 to 14 years. This, this order was again challenged in the High Court, saying that they sought permanent commission in the, in the army. However, later in the year 2008, the Defence Ministry came up with an order under which it said that they were going to grant permanent commission for women officers only under two streams, two specific non-combat streams. Those were judge advocate general meaning the legal branch of the army and the educa army education corps however again this order was also challenged in the delhi high court in october 2008 when the when the women officers said that they wanted permanent commission for all the women officers and not in certain streams later after hearing all these petitions and writs the delhi high court in 2010 came up with its order and said all those women who have demanded permanent commission and was and were denied must be granted that however the order was a little unclear about what happens to the women officers who had not approached the court or who had not demanded it demanded the pc the permanent commission earlier and what happens to them but before the women officers could go for a, a further legal procedure the central government itself challenged the order in the supreme court and said and, and demanded a stay on it. However, the Supreme Court had not stayed the order, but it was not implemented for nine years by the army and the central government. Later, in the year 2012, while during the proceedings in the Supreme Court, the central government and the army headquarters had filed an affidavit under which various arguments and reasons and, uh, were presented in the, in the court saying why army was not ready to accept women in permanent commission and in commanding roles. Later, in 2018, it was the Prime Minister Narendra Modi who announced and assured that women in the Indian Army will be granted permanent commission. Following this announcement, in the year 2019, the central government and uh, the defense ministry under the central government came up with an order offering permanent commission 
for women officers in eight more non-combat streams. So by this, two streams in 2008 and eight streams now in 2019, they covered pretty much all the non-combat roles. However, in this order, they had also specified that women officers will not be granted, will not be given commanding roles. They only had to serve in the staff appointments. This order was again not acceptable for both for the women officers as well as the Supreme Court. And now in February 2020, when we are discussing this Supreme Court order, it has specified, it has cleared that with irrespective of their number of years in service, all the women officers who have demanded permanent commission must be granted that. It has also cleared the way for women, women officers to obtain commanding roles saying that it would be unfair for their career advancement to not offer them equal opportunities on par with their male counterparts. So I hope you got this, got the gist of this whole timeline and let's move further into the discussion. Thank you so much Mehul for taking us to the entire history of the, of the, of the recent order. But here I think one more thing that is important is what were the arguments put forward by the army headquarters as to why they do not want permanent commission for women officers and why they do not want them in commanding positions. Right. So in 2012 the affidavit that they submitted, according to that the reasons given were they said that <coughs> women have to deal with uh, pregnancy, motherhood, child care and they are Dom they have domestic obligations to cater to the families right. and this lifestyle is not suitable for the army right. and they also said that most of the men that come in the army are from rural background right. and they don't have the mindset to take orders from a woman commander. So wh what do you think, what did the Supreme Court say on all these points? So exactly, uh, as you said most of these arguments that, mm -hmm. uh, that are being uh, you know, uh, told in the media right now are from an affidavit that, that was filed in 2012. Mm -hmm. right? Uh, so, Supreme Court has completely rubbished all these arguments yeah. uh, and said that all these excuses or arguments are based on sexual stereotypes hmm. premised on social norms of so-called gender roles. Huh. So, women have to cater to family and uh, childcare and stuff. All these are so social uh, stigma, social norms that are that have defined gender roles and uh, you know discriminated against women. Hmm. The uh, Supreme Court also uh, said it is a flawed notion that women. Uh, is a weaker sex. So it completely refused to accept any of these arguments. And it also said uh, that it does not stand uh, any any validity on, on, on Indian constitution. So uh, about what you said about the commanding roles that um, most of the army officers, army soldiers come from rural backgrounds and they don't prefer to take orders from women. The Supreme Court said mindset needs to change. So this, yeah. these were the wordings of Supreme Court mm. when it said mindset needs to change and uh, we uh, we need to be more progressive about in, in our approach mm. to um, you know women officers because it is also a question of Indian Army's dignity which is seen in high high values, high, high, regard, yeah. high regard, yes. Mm. So uh, that's what the Supreme Court said and it said it would be very unfair mm -hmm. uh, for their ca career advancement if we don't offer them equal opportunities mm -hmm. on par with their male counterparts. Yeah. So about this commanding role in permanent commission, they said it does not stand a chance against uh, Article 14 of Indian Constitution which mm -hmm. promises equality for all. Yeah. So on these grounds, Supreme Court completely refused to take any of these arguments. Yeah, and I think this bench of Supreme Court actually sent a bench, uh, set a benchmark to provide equality to all its citizens. Now let's see what happens because the uh, army has got about three months to implement this order. Till then, let's celebrate. We congratulate all the women officers out there. Mm -hmm.